From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of cultures, traditions, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides on the path of development. Namaskar viewers, welcome back to another episode of My India. I'm your host Pratiksha Mishra and in today's episode, we're gonna offer you a glimpse into India's cultures, diversity along with the developments happening in and around the world. Festivals in India are a time to look upon the past and embrace the present, wherein celebrations like Christian Holy Week, which follows Good Friday and Easter, weave a beautiful thread of togetherness, fostering unity while cultivating national integration, as millions across the country and even the globe joined hands in prayers and fasting, showcasing the spirit of love and brotherhood during the week-long festival. Take a look. India is often regarded as a land where regional and religious diversity of people are perceived as a force behind the integration of the nation, wherein festivals cultivate love and brotherhood in society. Maintaining this spirit, the Christian Holy Week, the period between Palm Sunday and Easter, was observed across India. The week-long festival commemorated the entry of Jesus Christ to Jerusalem as Palm Sunday followed by Good Friday and then Easter, the most important day on the Christian liturgical calendar. The occasion also witnessed millions of people observing fast, offering prayers at the churches and giving alms to the needy. And only by humiliating himself, by reducing himself to nothing, he had to rise again and to attain the fullness of life. So that is the center of our faith. And therefore, this week is very special for us because we are entering into that very, very central point of our faith. The Holy Week began with celebrating Palm Sunday as the Christian devotees gathered across the country to take part in religious processions, holding palm leaves in the remembrance of Christ on the occasion. Devotees also hang palms inside their houses in the belief that they will ward off evil spirits. Another important day that follows Palm Sunday is Good Friday, also called Holy Friday, Great Friday or Black Friday, a religious event observed primarily by Christians commemorating the crucifixion of Jesus Christ and his death at Golgatha Hill. For Christians worldwide, Good Friday commemorates the act that brought salvation to all who believe in Christ. The significance of this day is that Jesus Christ died for us, showing the path to heaven. He came down to this earth as a human being, but he was God. Being the son of God, he took birth and because of our sins, he died for us in the cross, wiping away all our sins and leading us to heaven. The week thereafter concludes with Easter festival, which takes place two days after the Good Friday, when Christians believe Jesus rose from the dead, three days after being crucified. Observed as a sign of new beginnings and hope, Easter is celebrated to confess one's sin and ask for forgiveness. Easter is also considered an auspicious day for the process of baptism and welcoming new members into the Christian faith. We celebrate the Easter by donating things to the poor and by celebrating the masses in the church and by cleaning our heart by confessing our sins. During the Holy Week, devotees also observe 40-day fasting ritual where they abstain from meat and alcohol. Moreover, priests read out verses from Holy Scriptures while worshippers lit candles to commemorate the auspicious day. The festival celebrated around the world also marks an auspicious moment to anticipate, meditate and reflect upon oneself. Moving on. 
India is racing towards a greener future as the country's clean energy transition is rapidly underway, benefiting the entire world. Keeping pace with the Make in India and Pradhan Mantri Surya Uday Yojana programs, many companies are emerging today to manufacture green components like solar panels and solar batteries while also giving rise to electric vehicles for a sustainable future. Take a look. Today, India is dwelling on the path of development and with that, the country is rapidly shifting towards green energy. Green energy, the type of energy generated through natural resources like sunlight, water or wind, is a solution to climate change in today's time. As the population is growing tremendously, the demand for energy is also increasing across the country. For this, India is now emphasizing on creating infrastructure, aiming to increase its green energy capacity and achieve the target of zero carbon emissions. As part of the efforts being made across the country to promote green energy, recently the country's first green solar panel factory was inaugurated in Rudrapur, Uttarakhand on March 28 this year. All components related to solar panels will be designed and developed in this factory, boosted by state-of-the-art facilities. To establish a modern solar energy management system, it has been planned to manufacture all the products in the categories of solar, inverter and battery in the factory. With world-class infrastructure, the factory is highly influenced by Make in India campaign and the Pradhan Mantri Surya Ode Yojana. Under this scheme, a target has been set to install rooftop solar plants in 1 crore houses in the country, through which people will be able to generate electricity through solar in their homes. In such a situation, this factory is ready to make an important contribution to meet the increasing demands for solar panels. और आत्मनिर्भर भारत में हम पैनल भी बहुत बनाएंगे इन्वर्टर भी बनाएंगे पर एक अच्छे क्वालिटी के सिस्टम हमारे देश कंज्यूमर को मिले ताकि वो पैसे की बचत भी कर सके और बिजली भी बना सके टुडे वी कैन सी अ सर्ज इन द नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स रनिंग अक्रॉस द स्ट्रीट्स ऑफ द कंट्री इलेक्ट्रिक बसेस ई रिक्शास ई बाइक्स एंड ई कार्स one can easily find these electric based vehicles functioning in their surroundings with that an increase in the gradual inclination for e vehicles can also be observed among people moreover the government is also spreading awareness about it as the ev charging points are being established across the nation owing to the rise in demand for electric vehicles the indian market is taking shape providing opportunities for companies in the last few years, many indigenous electric cars and vehicle models have been launched in the market, leading to an increase in their demands both in the country and abroad. India has potential to become the number one EV maker in the world. And we are committed to making India a self-reliant country in clean energy production and mass application. India has always been actively ensuring its participation in international forums on issues related to climate change and is continuously encouraging the world to work together in the same direction. The Green Energy Gallery established by an Indian company in the Science Museum of London is a living example of this. This is a free gallery in which information about sustainability, upcoming technology and climate science has been presented. At the same time, one can understand how renewable energy can be used to avoid the problems of climate change. If we can um, seize the opportunity now to make use of these great low carbon energy sources from solar to wind to maybe nuclear energy to different forms of, of low carbon energy sources um, and tr transition towards those and then use um, that energy 
uh, around um, our everyday lives, from moving around from transport to the way we build and uh, heat and cool our buildings in lower carbon ways, then we can reduce the impact of humans on the planet and move towards a, a more sustainable future. And that's what this gallery really highlights, those stories um, from the UK and from around the world um, where people or uh, individuals or communities, companies are imagining these lower carbon futures and the actions they're taking to achieve, um, to achieve their aims. India has set a target of net zero carbon emissions by 2070 and to achieve this target, work is being done at a rapid pace on a large scale across the country. Now that the country has turned its entire focus towards renewable energy, many important steps are being taken to increase its capacity so that India can become capable of dealing with the challenges of climate change. And now, a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. Rescued elephants were seen splashing around in mud baths, swimming pools and being showered with pressure pipes as their caretakers made jumbo efforts to keep them cool amid rising temperatures with the onset of summer season in southern India. We are actually giving elephants for shower bath, then mud bath, then uh, there are the swimming pools, we are allowing the elephants to the swimming pool. And actually we are giving more succulent fodder, green fodder in the hot, hot hour of the day. A herd of tuskers in Tiruchirappalli forest area rejoiced as they went through their newly implemented summertime routine, which comprises multiple baths, walks and hydrating meals of succulent fodder and watermelons. A forest official said, that the rehabilitation centre founded in 2019 is currently home to 11 tuskers who have been rescued from owners who possessed them illegally or were unable to take care of them. Tiruchirappalli District Forest Officer Kritika said that the jumbos were in solitary confinement before being translocated to the forest reserve, which facilitated socialization, which is an innate characteristic for elephants. Meanwhile, a zoological park in western Pune city also made special arrangements like installation of fans, foggers and coolers to keep animals healthy and comfortable as temperatures begin to rise in the Indian peninsula. Possible reasons for the rising temperatures range from global warming to greater urbanization, leading to taller buildings and diminishing green cover. India's central bank must prioritize the country's economic growth and also ensure the rupee is made more accessible and acceptable globally, said the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Bharat ki pragati tej gati se ho, inclusive ho, sustainable ho, iske liye रिजर्व बैंक को लगातार कदम उठाते रहने होंगे। The Reserve Bank of India must give top priority to growth, but at the same time focus on trust and stability, Modi said in a speech at an event to mark 90 years of the South Asian nation's central bank. India's economy grew at a quicker than expected 8.4% in the final three months of 2023, its fastest pace in one and a half years. Ratings agency Moody's expects India to remain the fastest growing among G20 economies over their forecast horizon. India with a 15% share in the global economy is becoming the engine of global growth and thus the country should ensure that the rupee is accessible and acceptable globally, Modi said. The central bank and the government have taken various steps over the last two years to boost the settlement of international trade in rupees, including putting in place a mechanism for such settlement and promoting it via a new foreign trade policy. 
the increasing use of the rupee in the invoicing and settlement of international trade as well as in capital account transactions will give the currency international acceptance a working group of the RBI said in the report last year in a separate speech finance minister nirmala sitharaman highlighted the role played by the central bank in managing inflation and growth and credited the RBI for its institutional credibility India accorded a ceremonial guard of honor to Royal Thai Navy's commander in chief Adung Paniam in New Delhi. Paniam participated in the wreath laying ceremony at the National War Memorial and paid his respects to fallen Indian soldiers. India and Thailand share a strategic partnership in Southeast Asia given their cooperation on various regional forums including the Association of Southeast Asian Nations ASEAN and East Asia Summit EAS Moving on let's take you to India's southern state of Karnataka where the four day long Rathotsav a temple car festival was observed commemorating the 202nd death anniversary of the most revered saint Sharan Basaveshwara The festival drew thousands of people cutting across communal lines. Take a look. The state of Karnataka in the southern part of India has long been a melting pot of culture for centuries with influences from ancient kingdoms which is seemingly evident in its age old traditional temples, sculptures and value system. The state is also known for its cultural diversity and an intermingling societal atmosphere that promotes love and brotherhood in society. In this spirit, the Sharan Basaveshwara Jatra Mahotsav, an annual car festival, was held by thousands of devotees from across Karnataka who commemorated the 202nd death anniversary of the 18th century saint and social reformer Sharan Basaveshwara people irrespective of religion and region gathered on the occasion to show their faith in the revered saint yatra ke mauke par hazrat khaja mazlama zarga se phool laaye jate hain aur usi se यहाँ की रथकशी होती है रथ निकाला जाता है उनके चाहने वाले मानने वाले हिंदुस्तान भर में मुख्तलिफ़ रियासतों से यहाँ आते हैं और आज के इस रथ यात्रा में हम देखते हैं कि बिला लिहाज मजहब मिलत मुख्तलिफ़ मजहब के लोग इनको चाहने वाले यहाँ इकट्ठा हैं thousands of devotees pull the decorated chariots around the main temple as part of the annual festive ritual while many observed fast and offered prayers the entire day moreover the fortnight long festival followed an array of recreational programs like hoisting of flags religious processions and feasts and also witness devotees rejoicing and dancing to the beats of traditional drums People also converged at the temple complex to witness the ascension of the holy order of the eight pithadipatti of Sharan Basaveshwara Samsthan Dr Sharan Basappa This mahotsav is celebrated in grand manner there is no discrimination between religious many types of people come and participate in this jatra mahotsav and they take blessings from Shri Shri Sharan Basaveshwar The annual festival provides a time for people to enjoy various cultural programs and activities. Moreover, it is also a moment for people to come together and celebrate the life and teachings of Sharan Basaveshwara. And now we bring you some of the stories from the recent developments and happenings 
from around the world in our section of World in Focus. Hokkaido Island in Japan attracts around 27 million foreign visitors annually. Tourists from various countries such as the USA, Australia and Canada are lured to Hokkaido to experience the unique charm of each season. Recently, the Japanese credit card company JCB has introduced attractions and benefits on a dedicated website for foreigners visiting Hokkaido. Visitors can also discover the rich history, vibrant handicrafts and the dynamic natural landscapes of Hokkaido, including iconic landmarks like Goryokaku Tower and more. Hokkaido's hospitality spans the vast island, offering tourists diverse experiences throughout their visit. Convenient transportation is vital for enjoying a tour of Hokkaido, given its diverse attractions and unpredictable weather conditions. Rental cars play a significant role in transportation for tourists exploring Hokkaido. Each car is equipped with snow tires as a safety measure in case of snowfall. JCB's hospitality encompasses all the amenities of the vast Hokkaido island. Through its partnerships and initiatives, JCB strives to elevate the travel experience for tourists visiting Hokkaido from around the globe. Japanese company Yamaha prioritizes its mission of contributing to decarbonization, prominently showcased at the Japan International Boat Show in Yokohama City. Here, the company introduced environmentally protective personal watercraft featuring components made from flax plants. These components serve as an alternative to traditional glass fiber components, retaining the distinct pattern of flax while contributing to environmental protection efforts. アマゾンにつきましては、カーボンニュートラルへの貢献を狙って取り組んでおります。アマゾンへの使用は初の試みであり、今後開発が進めばさらに大きな部品への適用や最終的には冒頭全体に環境材料を適用することを目指しています。開
women here adorning traditional attire set up their shops and sell various local handicrafts local cuisine different types of fish vegetables and clothing this market is not only a special place for shopping but also a tourist attraction for visitors from within the country and abroad through this market thousands of local women are financially supporting their families making it a symbol of women's self reliance and empowerment we can say that this market help us a lot as a, as a licensed vendor women and uh, around 4000 women helping by this market financially and uh, as government stated that uh, this market also serves as the economic backbone of this state Many women in India's northeast have established their businesses in the past few years enabling themselves to earn a decent income. Ranjana Devi, a 40-year-old resident of Manipur, has established a business where she manufactures chips, pickles and candies from vegetables and fruits and sells them. She started this venture with a small investment in 2021 and today she runs a business worth lakhs annually. Similarly, Rajkumari Sarju Devi is also a skilled entrepreneur. She has established a business where various toiletries such as handmade soaps, organic dishwashers, hand wash and glass cleaners are produced manually and sold in different states. The demand for soaps made from various fruits and herbs is highest among the products manufactured here. Setting up such a business was a challenging task, but Sarju Devi has accomplished it through her hard work. She is now earning profits in lakhs every month and employing other local women as well. Till now I have uh seven staff, all are girls and um, I'm very uh, I'm very proud myself that I can uh, give a job to such my uh, uh, what to say uh, that that uh, all my sister like sister they are all like my sister like Ranjana Devi and Rajkumari Sarju Devi many other women in the northeastern states are setting examples of self reliance through their hard work and dedication these women are also receiving assistance from various government schemes which not only makes them economically empowered but also enables them to play an important role in the country's development journey That's all we have for you this week. I'm your host Pratiksha Mishra and it's a goodbye from the entire production team.